The mobile phones of ex-Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were switched off for four hours on the day they were poisoned, it has been reported. It may suggest that the pair were trying to meet someone off the record before they were attacked with a nerve agent Novichok in Salisbury earlier this month. But now it is being reported that their phones were switched off for a crucial period on March 4, the day of the incident. The device's GPS signals, which help identify where someone is, were not in operation for several hours, the Sun on Sunday reports. Specialist forensic officers collect samples from the park next to the bench the scripples were found on, image, Daily Mirror, officers in specialist suits have been in locations around the city since the attack on March 4, image, AFP, Yulia Scripple, and her dad is still fighting for their lives after being poisoned with a nerve agent, image, AFP, a source told the paper, the most credible explanation is their phones were switched off during the morning of the day they were targeted. The most likely reason would be if they were going to meet someone and wanted to remain off the radar. Skripal was jailed in Russia in 2006, but was pardoned and freed four years later as part of a spy swap. He sought refuge in the UK and had lived here ever since. His daughter Yulia lived in Moscow. The bench the Scripples were sitting on when they were found unconscious was removed by a team of forensic investigators in protective suits on Friday. It comes just days after a judge warned that Sergei and Yulia may never recover from the attack. Blood tests indicated that the nerve agent Novichok or a related agent was found in the Scripples' blood samples taken and analyzed by the UK's Porton Down military labs. Scientists at Porton Down identified the nerve agent as Novichok image, Getty Images Europe, police are still trying to piece together their final hours before they arrived in Salisbury Town Center, image, Getty Images Europe, an unidentified consultant who is treating the Scripples told the Court of Protection they were both heavily sedated, unable to communicate and that it was not possible to say when or to what extent either may regain mental capacity. They were both in a but physically stable condition and were being treated on the basis they would wish to be kept alive, the consultant said. Detective Sergeant Nick Bailey who also fell in the attack was released from hospital but said his life will never be the same again. Detective Sergeant Nick Bailey was hospitalized after coming into contact with a deadly nerve agent, Image, PA, the British government, the EU and United States of America have all said it is, highly likely, that Russia was behind the attack on the Scripples. Britain expelled 23 diplomats after Moscow failed to answer questions about the attack. In response 23 British officials were expelled from Russia. The EU has withdrawn its ambassador to the country, but the Kremlin deny any involvement in the attack.